Everyone knows that Panasonic Lumix GH5 is one of the fantastic camera out there in the market right now. But there are little quirks in the camera which makes it a little bit annoying. And one of them has to be the display button at the back of the camera. I have spoken about it in my review. My issue with this particular display button is that it comes exactly below the bottom portion of your thumb when you're shooting handheld. And there are very high chances that the button gets uh, pushed when you're shooting and when you're handling the camera. And a lot of wise people have spoken about it in their reviews. See this little button right here that says DISP as in display. This little bastard right here. All right, that is what cycles through the information that's on the screen. See, display, 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 display. This makes no sense. The location is right there, as in exactly where this thumb organically rests. So while I'm shooting on the fly, I'm constantly accidentally pressing this button and the screen turns off. And sometimes I'll be recording and I'm struggling enough to look for your tiny, tiny, invisible blinking red light. And now is it recording? I have no idea. The blinking light's gone. And then I press it again. The whole thing's off. Panasonic eventually decided to fix this in one of their latest firmware updates. In this video, you'll learn how to disable the display button at the back of your Panasonic Lumix GH5. As a prerequisite to this video, you need to be on the latest firmware for the Panasonic Lumix GH5, which is the V2.1. If you don't know how to update the firmware on your camera, please refer to my video which I did a couple of weeks back. Let's get started. Currently, this is what happens if you click the display button when the camera is in use. Function button on the camera can be mapped to enable quick access of menu items. Press and hold the function button and navigate to the page 3 to map it to the operation log menu item. Now let's go to the menu, custom settings menu, operation and select operation lock settings. Here disable everything except for the display button. To enable the mode, click on the function button to which the menu item is mapped. Now clicking on the display button will not have any impact on the LCD display. The other functions in the operation lock, example the joystick, continues to work as normal. Click on the function button again to disable the operation lock. Hope this video was helpful and if you like the video, please make sure that you subscribe for more tips and tricks like this in the future video. This is me Shiv signing off and I'll see you guys again in the next one.